Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. So the overwhelming majority of comments last night, about four and a half thousand, have decided this is going to be a doorway. So thank you so much if you have commented. Over the last few days, knocking down this wall was incredibly difficult. It might not have looked it on camera, but I'm a bit stiff this morning. Also, my good friend Philip from the channel Chateau Life is going to pop in and he's going to help me clean the original flagstone floor in the hallway because at the moment it's currently a little bit chalky looking and he has a special device that is designed for cleaning floors. So I'm really looking forward to that. So let's crack on. Hello everybody. I am off to see Billy at the convent. It's the live music at the pub last night, so um, I may or may not be slightly hungover. Uh, so I've decided I want to help Billy out today, but I also really kind of need to not be in my house and be somewhere where it looks a lot worse than my place. And we'll see, uh, see how that gives some motivation for myself. Gwen's asked me to go and help Billy out because she'd actually like a project finished but I'm not sure she's really picked the best supervisor, to be honest, if she wants something done. The project I'm going to be helping with is I've got a huge industrial floor scrubber and Billy has got the floor in the entrance that really, really needs cleaning up. So we're going to see, if, see how that does, see if we can make a difference to that. Look who's turned up everyone, a good friend of mine, Philip. And you've brought a special piece of equipment to help us clean the floor in the hallway. It's a piece of equipment and it looks a bit special, yeah. Okay, it's... brilliant, I look forward to seeing it. Yeah. Shall we get it out and uh, have a look at it? Let's get the camera off, we're gonna do that, mate. Okay. That's a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! Oh wow, isn't it big, Phil? Wow, that looks amazing. I hear that a lot, mate. <sighs> yeah, I like it. Right, let's uh, get it out and uh, see what it can do. Does this work? Oh. There we go, brilliant. Right, uh, let's spin it that way on the wheels. Look at the wheels. Ooh, yes, it's heavy, isn't it? There we go. Yeah. You good with that? Yeah, I'm good with that. Right, if you just wheel it out that way and I'll... Okay, we'll twos it out, yeah? Yeah. It is quite heavy. Oh, that is heavy, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Very heavy. Ah. Ooh, brilliant. Right. It's old like me, but it works. It will do the job. Unlike me. <laughs> You'll need this. Oh, wow. So this is the cleaning brush. This is the vicious. Yeah, brilliant. This is going to do a fantastic job. I can see it already. I can see the results in my head. <laughs> well, let's give it a go. <laughs> Cement mixer's dirty. You can never trust somebody with a dirty cement mixer. While Phil is cracking on, I need to crack on myself. So I need to do the threshold for this doorway that you've all decided I've got to do. Um, cement mixer's now clean, and I need to mix up some sand and lime, and it's a three to one mix. So for every three shovels of sand, I've got to put one shovel of lime. And that is a perfect consistency. And yeah, try not make it too wet, but it should be fine. So let's crack on.
So, out of pure luck, these ones fitted without cutting them. <laughs> no, I did measure them beforehand. Um, yeah, the lime and sand mix is a little bit wet, but actually sometimes I prefer it because when you're tapping it, it sort of escapes from the bottom. If it's too thick with not enough water, you're just hammering it for ages. Then you've got to lift it up again and then scrape it out and then put more in. And if it's not right, it just turns into chaos. So I like the mix a little bit wet. And what I'm going to do now is use this level and this mallet just to get them down nice and level. Um, I've got to get these to the correct depth. So when the travertine comes in, it's matching and I will include a few mil for adhesive underneath those as well. So let's crack on. So I've got a piece of the travertine just to make sure it's going to match perfectly. And I know in the comments when I was doing the, um, the ramp into this kitchen, um, I've got to allow for some mortar or adhesive underneath these, which will probably be about two or three mil maybe max. So let's see if it will fit. Oh yes, look at that. Oh, it's fabulous. Oh, it's a bit too nice actually. Yeah, it's going to be really, really nice. So once there's a bit of mortar underneath that, these will be a perfect level. And I really look forward to laying this flooring. It is just... So let's crack on. So this pile of stones or flagstones, we actually reclaimed from the kitchen when we exposed the old floor. The old floor was a mix of terracotta tiles that were completely broken and some areas had flagstones. So we took them all up before we put down the concrete and here they are. So I'm gonna slowly work my way through these over the next few years and use them in places such as this doorway because we don't like wasting anything here. So I need to find an appropriate stone or stones and then we can uh, start putting another layer in. Oh, that's heavy. That's a pretty stone. Oh, I do like stones. There. Uh, another one. That one's a bit too small. Ah, this one looks promising. But it's just heavy. That's nice, but it's got a bit of a funny angle there. So these stones, surprisingly, only have one flat surface. Um, they're sort of shaped a bit like a tooth. So they're normally thinner at the bottom than they are on the top. And obviously you can't use that side for a floor. Right. This one maybe. Oh, this is a nice one. Yes. I like this one. That is perfect. And we don't have to cut any stones. So yeah, let's crack on. Oh.
Unfortunately, I have to cut this stone. I don't like cutting stones, but it's got to be done because I want to get this step done today. Um, so let's measure it, go and get the saw and cut it. Thirty-three, thirty-three. Half of thirty-three is sixteen point five, I believe, because Alex told me, because I'm thick. Going well, everyone. Putting the last step in. So what do you think everyone? I personally think it looks pretty amazing. Um, I might add a few borders, just where the cobbles end or start, but hello mate. Is that all you managed to get done? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, I like it. Yeah, I, like I, it. I didn't want to add a ramp because this is an actual rain gully. Okay. And if there was a slope, it would just flood the kitchen if there was really bad heavy rain. So it, worked. it looks good. Yeah. Nice. What have you been up to? I have something to show you, but you've also got to have a play with a tool. Yes, I want to have a go with that. Come on then, let's have a look. Oh, look at this, Phil. It's cleaning the surface. In fact, they've never looked this good. <laughs> it's all right, it's, hard. it's quite hard going because it's going to need a few passes, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's what it looked like. You this can is... see the difference, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. So I imagine the cobbles probably looked a bit like this before they put cement over the top of them. Yeah, I mean, you can see the result of that actually. I mean, there's, there's imperfection in it, but you can mm -hmm. see some of the really, really already smooth ones when the concrete went down, mm -hmm. it's, it's a bit milky in the surface yeah. because that's yeah. just, it's, it's in there now. Yeah, you can't really do huge amounts. Wow, can I have a go with this? Yes, you can, and that's gonna be the fun part because what I've left you is I've left you the bit with a really big drop. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Right. Fair enough. Right, what we'll do, I'll tell you what, we'll put it, kind of put it, watch out, we'll put it here. I will demonstrate with, with me using it, mm -hmm, okay. and then you can have a go. Yeah. Stick that over there. This one over here, which is the lever to pull down. And that one makes it go. That's, and then this needs to go. This needs to be just sort of like hip height. And the idea is that it sits there, and you sort of push forwards, go one way and down for the other. Okay, yeah. Yeah, all right. This is where it's going to all go wrong. Whoa, see? <laughs> no, a little bit further down. There you go. See? Wow. So this is just that massive brush on the bottom. It's obviously got to be wet. And as that's spinning around, it's just brushing the surface. It's a really harsh brush, basically. Uh, like having a child. <laughs> uh, you're going to be on the hose pipe, yeah? <laughs> Right. Okay. okay. Right. Are you good with this? I'm good with it. Right. So as you push, sort of lit down, it'll go, yeah. And then as it goes that way, you can then move to the next row of tiles and.
Phil, this is too hard work for me. <laughs> I'm exhausted and it's out of control. I think you should continue with this. Yeah, all right, come on. Seeing as you're used, you're used to it. <laughs> so thank you everyone for watching this video today. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah, I'll still be here. <laughs>